Hello everyone, Kendall here. So today I'm doing a video with Handbrake and I'm showing you how to increase your efficiency utilizing Intel's QSV or Quality Sync video with H.264. This video is going to pertain to people who want lossless video quality while gaining extreme amounts of performance out of Handbrake so that they can re-encode multiple videos much quicker than they have before. To get started, the first things you're going to need will be the following. You're going to need an Intel-based motherboard and processor with an onboard video card that supports QSV. In this use case, I'm using an Intel 4770K processor with a Z87 chipset motherboard. You will then need a program called MakeMKV to grab your video files off of your DVD or Blu-ray disc and then stage them onto your hard drive. And then the last application you will need will be Handbrake Nightly Edition. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to assume you have already downloaded Make Inc. KV and you have already used it to grab the video files off of your Blu-ray or DVD and then you've placed those files onto your hard drive. The next process is utilizing Handbrake Nightly Edition to re-encode our videos and that's what I'm going to cover here. So I have Handbrake open and the first stage that you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on the file here and you're going to go ahead and open the first title that it goes ahead and created when you were using Make MKV. So I'll go ahead and click open. All right, now that we have this open, there's really two tabs that we're concerned with here, and really the first one is the main one. So this video tab here, this is the most important. We want to make sure we're using H.264 with Intel QSV. By default, it uses H.264, which utilizes your processor. This Intel QSV will utilize your onboard video card adapter instead of your processor. It uses still about 50% of your processor, but you know most of it's happening on your video card. All right, and then what I always select is the same frames per second as the source disk, and then I always bump my quality on both of these settings all the way up to make this lossless. I keep everything else at auto, and then under the audio tab up here, you can select the audio tracks that you have. In my case, I only am concerned with English, so I'm going to go ahead and select English. Uh, AAC is fine. You can select any type of uh, codec that you want. If uh, your videos happen to do DTS pass-through or True HD, that might be better suited for you. But for my use case, AAC is just fine. And we'll go ahead and bump up the bitrate to the highest that we can. And then again, this is kind of the mixture that you use. Uh, Adobe Pro Logic 2 is totally fine for my uh, scenario here. So the next thing you're going to want to do is obviously go down and change the video to the file that it is. And uh, we're using Ice Age here, so I'll go ahead and call it Ice Age. That's really all there is to it. You know, if you wanted to web optimize things or if you didn't want lossless, you know, you can obviously change your quality. That's a personal thing on whatever you feel you like. And um, I don't care what you happen to change yours to. And then the other thing is, is if you're going to post something like this on the web, obviously you want to web optimize these things. Um, these are personal backups. I don't use them for anything else. So uh, I keep everything at lossless. And then we'll go ahead and start our encoding process. And this is probably what you guys are you know, curious about. So when we look at it here, the average frames per second are going to be a little over 200. Now, if you're utilizing just your regular cores on your processor, it'd be somewhere around 20 to 30 frames per second. So as you can tell, we're definitely utilizing the QSV process with uh, our onboard video on this Intel architecture uh, hardware that I'm using. Now, this video process normally takes me, this is a DVD, and this normally takes me around an hour to hour 20 minutes. And as you can see here, it's a little under nine minutes for a regular DVD. I haven't seen any video quality degradation, and I can't hear any audio degradation by utilizing the video processor versus using, utilizing my you know, regular processor with H.264. So um, that's basically how you use Handbrake and how you get the efficiency out of it, but I want to let you guys know there was a couple stumbling blocks that I ran into. When I first tried this process, it just plain didn't work. It would get about a minute to two minutes in, and then it would fail. So what I found is on my particular motherboard and with my particular handbrake version and I don't know if this pertains to everything but basically I had to have my secondary monitor physically plugged into my secondary adapter or in this case my onboard adapter so 
I was using my secondary monitor and I'm plugging it into my onboard video adapter. And that's the video card adapter that utilizes QSV. I had initially plugged everything into my primary video card that has multiple ports and can run multiple monitors, but that video card does not leverage QSV. So then what I found is, hey, it seemed to work, but if I would drag Handbrake over to my primary monitor that was running off a dedicated video card, it would no longer work for me. It would usually crash in about two to three minutes. So just something to you know, learn or keep out there that if you're utilizing this QSV and it doesn't seem to be uh, working for you, I was particularly getting a error message of 17. And uh, so what I did is, like I said, I have a dedicated secondary monitor that's plugged into my onboard video card. And then I go ahead and just run handbrake on that uh, monitor. And it seems to work just fine. So um, hopefully this helps you guys. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you.